something little It grows to something big The words we heard and listened to And all that he revealed Change us to who we are Of what we say and do something new Be inspired Be an inspiration To be inspired For those who lost the way To be inspired With everything Seems over Share His love And let them know He lives Be inspired And be an inspiration To be Happy Pentecost Sunday, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, it's also the birth of our church. Happy birthday sa ating simbahan. Also, a uh, golden jubilee celebration of all the charismatic in the Philippines. Wow! Ang marami pong celebration. Ating pong pong simbahan ngayon ay nagsa-celebrate. Kaya nga po ako ngayon ay naka-teaser. No? Siguro po, napansin niyo po, ngayon lang po ako nag-teaser. Pero it's a celebration of, uh, of our church and it's a Pentecost Sunday, brothers and sisters. In behalf of our head servant, Brother Vincent Bingbog Sologo, uh, our spiritual director, Monsignor Albert Benos, and our presiding elder, who is uh, our guest for tonight, Brother Jing Mendoza, our love plug Cebu spiritual advisor, Father Shano Ubon, welcome po sa ating pong love plug, Be Inspired. We hope that we will inspire you tonight, brothers and sisters. And this is your host, Brother Vic Cabral from Love Flat Cebu. Uh, atin pong guest ay atin pong presiding elder, uh, Brother Jing Mendoza. And we will be inspired by singing the Holy Spirit by our Brother George Binuya from Love Flat, New Jersey, USA. And uh, Ruby family, Brother Rick, uh, Sister Opel, and Sister Ella uh, singing the, uh, the Holy Spirit from Love Flat, Cebu. Ang ating pong topic po ngayong gabi ay tungkol po sa bunga ng Espiritu, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Oh, very exciting kasi lahat po tayo na, na nandiyan ngayon, nagjo-join is uh, mostly tayo po lahat ay charismatic. Kaya po napakaganda po ng ating pong panayam, ng ating pong pag-discuss po ngayong gabi. So samahan niyo po ako sa ating pong Be Inspired Prayer. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Diyos Espiritu Santo. Amen. Heavenly Father, help us pay close attention to ourselves so that we can grow spiritually as a person. We pray that we will persevere in all things, especially in spreading your gospel, your good news, the word of God, with inspiration, motivation, determination, because your word says that you will ensure our salvation when we do so. We pray that we did not become discouraged by the world, by difficulties like this pandemic. Instead, help us to push through the trials and tribulations we face. May we glorify you in this program of yours. The love plot be inspired and give inspiration and encouragement to many people who are joining us, viewing us, listening to us, and inspired before we expire. In Jesus' mighty name, with the Holy Spirit, with the intercession of Mother Mary, Amen and Amen and Amen. Then the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Friends, people of God, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, naalala ko po kasi uh, 35 years ago, uh, 1986, uh, when I encounter, when I encounter our God, our Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit. Um, wala akong kaalam-alam po nun, mga kapatid. Eh. Uh, that was uh, December 18, 19, and 20 in, um, in the community of Love Plak in the main uh, in, in, in our main uh, Love Plak uh, community. Uh, doon ko po natagpuan kung ano po itong banalang espiritu po nito. Ang um, Brother Vic po noon ay walang kamuangwang, wala pong kaalam-alam. Kaya nga po ang, ang kagandahan po noon, makikita po natin ang kilos ng banal espiritu. Ano po ang naging nangyari, ano po ang nagawa. Kaya nga po ang ating community is ang pangalan po is The Love Plak Catholic Charismatic Renewal Ministries. Uh, renewal po ay pagbabago. Kaya nga po mga kapatid, uh, ngayon pong gabi ay mapalad po tayo. Mapalad ka, mapalad ako, mapalad po tayong lahat. Kasi mapapakinggan po natin kung ano po yung nilalaman nito pong topic po na ito. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Ang bunga ng banal na Espiritu. Our guest for tonight is um, he is my mentor, honestly. Uh, siya po ang aking mentor. Siya po ang aking kaibigan. Siya po ang aking sumbungan. Um, siya po ang aking tagapayo. Uh, siya po ang uh, presiding elder natin sa ating community sa main love plot. Tonight, let us welcome... Our brother, Brother Jing Mendoza. Praise God. Welcome, Brother Jing. Amen and amen. Happy Pentecost! <laughs> Hallelujah. Today is uh, Pentecost Sunday. In the Gospel today, uh, the, the Lord breathed, breathed upon the Apostles. Hallelujah. Um, and what did the, what did Jesus breathe upon them? The Holy Spirit. I'm reminded of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were called the um, image and likeness of God. How is that? Well, because God breathed the Holy Spirit upon Adam and Eve. No, He did not just breathe oxygen upon them. Kasi if it is only oxygen, then they will be just like the animals who receive oxygen. No, God breathed the Holy Spirit upon them and that made them image and likeness. Hallelujah. Uh, fast forward natin. St. Paul is saying, uh, you can only cry out, Abba Father by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we become real sons and daughters of God. So, are we more than just Adam and Eve? I, I think so. <laughs> because Adam and Eve was just image and likeness. But uh, remember, that image and likeness simply means that Adam and Eve was holy. And that is the reason they had a full life. You know, no, they did not have a full life because they have the mountains, the trees, the animals, the birds, the sea, the fish. No, that's not what made them full. You know, just like today, some people believe that what will make them full is, hallelujah, is money, material, their ambitions, their plans. Hallelujah. No, those are not wrong things, but hey, that will not give us fullness in life. <laughs> Hallelujah. In your life and in my life, what really, what, what, uh, fullness began in your life and in my life when the Lord was being, is able to reveal Himself to you. And how is God able to reveal Himself to you and to me? Through the power of the Holy Spirit that is in you and in me. All right. Well, let's get back to Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve had a full life because they were holy. Hallelujah. No? Simply, simply lang po. Saan galing ang fullness in life? And it's a holiness. Hallelujah. Diba when we go to heaven? And, uh, hallelujah. You know, when, when you and I go to heaven, that is the fullness of salvation. 
which simply means that what does fullness of salvation means? Uh, it simply means that we are able to see God face to face and that uh, the holiness, the purity, hallelujah, is uh, accomplished already when you go to heaven. That's why the saints, you know, ha hallelujah, had fullness in life when they died. Don't, don't you notice that we commemorate the day, the feast day of the saints on their death um, uh, when when they die on the day that they die that is when you you have a, that feast day you know of all the saints you know but receive the fullness in life hallelujah means what the fullness of their holiness um, praise be to god all right so what happened to adam and eve let's go back to adam and eve what happened to the holy spirit hallelujah you know what happens is that they drove away the holy spirit when they rejected god when they disobeyed hallelujah disobedience cut the the, the connection between god and man hallelujah um and this must be clear, you know. You know, I, I had, um, there was a boy who who gave me a question, who posed me a question many, a few years ago, an 11-year-old boy, and he asked me, Brother Jing, does God know everything? And I said, of course. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you know that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, does God know that Adam and Eve will eat the forbidden fruit? You know, I was, I, I held back for a while and said, uh oh, <laughs> if I said yes, he will say, why did he, uh, why did he put up that forbidden tree in the first place? <laughs> if I say no, as I was, uh, he will say, I, 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 I thought, I thought uh, God knew everything. <laughs> so, uh, thank be to God, the Holy Spirit came into my rescue to have saved me. <laughs> you know, I said, you know, uh, the, the love of God is, hallelujah, unconditional. It is unlimited. It just keeps on pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring. That's the love of God. You know, I heard this from uh, Cardinal Tagli one time ago that when uh, the love of God cannot be given to us in its fullness, we receive the love of God in trickles because uh, our heart cannot, cannot uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, does not have the power to contain the love of God. Grave kasi. Eh? So, that love is keeps just keeps on pouring. That love created the universe and Adam and Eve that love keeps on pouring and pouring, but to make that into a, the, pa, pa, for man to experience the fullness of that love, uh, that man must respond, hallelujah, to complete the circuit of love, you know. Uh, so, man must, must respond. And how will Adam and Eve respond? How, the, how will Adam and Eve prove that they love God? There is no sin. There is no temptation. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 the, the, everything is uh, praise-filled. It is grace-filled. Oh Lord, uh, how how can they uh, how can they respond to love God? So God, in His love, in God's love, God put that forbidden tree so that uh, if the Adam and Eve will avoid that tree. They will obey the command not to eat that tree, then they are able to love God. You know? Hallelujah. If there was no forbidden tree, how will they love God? <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, unfortunately, diba, it was the cause of the rejection. They rejected God. <laughs> Praise be to God. You know, is it important that the man will love God? Yes. Yes, because how will that fullness manifest. That's the reason why He gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Spirit of love. He pours it into our hearts. Then with that Holy Spirit of love, we can love Him back. We can obey. Hallelujah. And then we will be united. We will be connected. We will be one with God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because, ulitin ko, ulitin ko, when that Holy Spirit is in you, you have the power to obey God. Do not forget John 14, 15, when Jesus said, Jesus said, if you love me, 
you will obey me, my commands. You see, how can we obey the commands? How can we obey the gospel if the Holy Spirit is not available to us? You know, just like Adam and Eve, the Holy Spirit was there. They can love God, but the, the, the temptation of the devil was just too tempting. And so what happened? What happened? The, bus, uh, the Bible tells us that Adam and Eve was driven away from paradise. Well, I cannot contest that. That is what is written in the Old Testament. In the book of Genesis, the, 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 uh, they were driven away. But this was made clear by Jesus. You know, uh, many people don't realize why Jesus came down. Why ma God became man. So that, so that uh, Jesus, as man, can explain to us face to face, man to man, by, 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 by uh, the level of... By our level, Jesus can speak to us and tell us the real, the real score. That's what He keeps on saying. I came down so that I can tell you what the Father wants to say. What the Father wants to hallelujah, convey. Uh, the other day, the other Sunday, there was that gospel that uh, uh, you are no longer slaves because the slaves do not know the Master. They do not know the Father. But I... I know I, I, I call you friends because I'm telling you what the Father wants to say to you. And so, okay, okay, uh, what does the Father want to say to us? That, hey, God did not drive away man. The story of the prodigal son is your story and my story. We were not driven. God was waiting for us to come back. That's all it takes. You know, God was waiting for us so that God can embrace us. Hallelujah. That's the story. That's the real score. No, no, He did not drive us away. Hallelujah. It is sin that separated us from God like Adam and Eve. You know, and so, my, my dear brothers and sisters, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 is clear on this. When St. Paul said, do not drive away the Holy Spirit. Okay, what happened now? What happened when Adam and Eve, hallelujah, you departed, you know, hallelujah. Well, what happened? They put up their own kingdom. And it all started with Cain and Abel. Hallelujah. Remember the story of Cain and Abel? What? Nagpatayan na sila. What happened? What happened to man? Bakit nagkagano na? Hallelujah. Nagpatayan na. You know, uh, it all started with sin. As I told you, sin separated us from God. Uh, Cain and Abel. Hallelujah. Story will tell us what kind of... Uh, uh, that, that, that to be controlled by the human nature results in death. To be controlled by the Holy Spirit results in life. Cain and Abel was on their own. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was not there. They have driven away. Adam and Eve driven away the Holy Spirit. And you know the story, di ba? Si Cain na ingit. No? The first sin, I guess, is that envy. You know? And envy, fa anger followed envy. And, and, and then murder followed anger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Cover up, lie, yeah, followed that murder. Oh my God. <laughs> and it all, all, and greed was there. You know, uh, Cain was, Cain did not give what is due to God. Hallelujah. Cain did not have Refuse to give much. Hallelujah. That's the reason why, hallelujah, uh, Cain killed Abel out of envy. But particularly more on the start, the start of greed. You know? So, uh, let me just emphasize that. Uh, wh why were they doing that? Why, why was that happening to Cain and Abel? Uh, because they were controlled by the human nature. They are no longer controlled by the Holy Spirit. And then what happened? Did God, did God punish Cain and Abel? Did God punish what Cain and Abel established? 
Well, why? What did, what did Cain and Abel establish? The world. The world. In Tagalog, makamundo. Worldly. You know? Uh, in our the Growing the Spirit seminar, there is a definition of world. A system of relationship, ideas, and values opposed to God. You see, this world, uulitin ko, a system of relationship, ideas, and values separated from God. No? Hallelujah. In fact, not only separated, but opposed to God. And that is the danger now of the world. Saint, uh, Saint Pope Francis has been saying that the greatest sin now on earth is indifference. No, what is indifference? You don't care. Man does not care. No, they don't care whether it is good or bad for as long as it is fun. Hallelujah. The only question that needs to be answered now is, Masaya ba yan? Masarap ba yan? No, they don't, they don't uh, distinguish anymore. Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it good? Is it bad? Hindi na. Hindi na. You know, ang uh, pinag-uusapan ngayon, what is, uh, hallelujah, acceptable to, who, to, to, human, to man. Hallelujah. And what do you call that sin? Indifference. Hallelujah. Okay lang. Patayan. Okay lang yan. Murahan. Okay lang. Hallelujah. Ano? Ano ba masama doon? Everybody's doing it anyway. Ganyan ba? Indifference. Sabi ni, sabi ni uh, uh, Pope Francis is a great, is a big, big manifestation that the Holy Spirit is no longer in, in, in the human person. Because if the Holy Spirit is in you, indifference will not work. You will care. You will care of what is holy. And if you do not care what is holy, if your only lakad is that nagbago ka na, hindi ka na pumapatay, hindi ka na nang re-rape, hindi ka na nagnanakaw, hindi ka na ganito, hindi ka na wala ka ng bisyo, okay na, di ba? Yun lang ang concern mo. You're not concerned about what is holy. Then, Clearly, the Holy Spirit is not there. Because the, uh, the, remember, what the Holy Spirit can do to you and me is to make us real sons and daughters, which means what? Which means what? Holiness. If holiness does not matter, that's indifference. Hallelujah. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, did God punish man? No. He sent, the, he sent the prophets. And one of the prophets that were uh, pertinent to the Holy Spirit or Pentecost is the uh, prophecy of the coming of the Holy Spirit found in Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 30. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 30 is about seven or 800 years B.C., before Christ. And what was the promise there? I will pour out my spirit upon mankind. Hallelujah. Now, and they will speak in tongues. This is prophesied. Eight, seven, eight hundred years before Christ. Now, now, sama mo yung uh, AD 2021. AD, that must be about 3,000 years na from now, from me, today. 3,000 years ago, there was a prophecy in the book of Joel that the Holy Spirit will be poured out into mankind. No, 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 there was no condemnation, di ba? Binidinan ni Lord nung mga nakaraang araw yun eh. I did not come to condemn. Hallelujah, praise be to God. And so, uh, how, how, how did, when did this, did the Holy Spirit came, this promised Holy Spirit in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28 to 30, when did it came? When did the Lord uh, fulfill that promise? When? Well, when He died on the cross. Diba? That's on the, so when He died on the cross, the seventh and last words were, Sabi ni Lord, Father, unto thy hands I commend my spirit. The price He had to pay was His life. 
so that we can receive that Holy Spirit, that fullness in life. Come to think of it, di ba? Ikaw na nag-LSS, ikaw na charismatic, ikaw na nakakaranas ng pagbabagong buhay. Nakakaranas na gumaganda ang pamilya mo, gumaganda ang buhay mo, gumaganda kinabukasan mo, gumaganda lahat ng bagay. Kahit na in the midst of all the problems in your life, the problems con- even contribute sa pagpapaganda ng buhay mo. Yun ang Holy Spirit eh. Nakalungkot nga lang kung hindi tayo interesado sa holiness of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ano kung ano na isip mo yun ng tama eh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kung ano na isip mo yun ng tama. <laughs> Praise be to God. Ano I, I know of some people who intellectualize the gospel and say, "Hindi ganito 'yan eh. Alam mo ganito 'yan. Ganito 'yan. Ganito 'yan." <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Ang mga wag mong kakalimutan, hindi pwedeng uh, gamitan ng katwiran ito. Hindi pwedeng gamitan ito ng hallelujah, intellectualizing. <laughs> hallelujah. Para simpleng simple lang po 'yan, eh. love your enemies. Are you interested in that? Do you understand that? I don't. I don't. How can I understand love your enemies? But, but, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of God, you know, if I decide to obey that word, that command, hallelujah, God will make me able to forgive my enemies. <laughs> Ano lang yan eh, di ba? Eh, gamitan mo ng kotwiran, gamitan mo ng damdamin. Hallelujah! And sabihin mo, ganito tama, hindi yan tama. Ito, ma- ito mali, ito tama. <laughs> ikaw ang magsa, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw ang mag, uh, mag I- ikaw ang mag rationalize kung ano tama at mali. Hali, don't base your uh, thinking uh, on the gospel. sa politiko, sa business. Alisin mo yung gospel. Alisin mo yung gospel sa politiko. Alisin mo yung gospel sa business mo. Alisin mo yung gospel sa pagpapatakbo mo ng pamilya mo kasi galit ka, kailangan ikaw masunod. Hallelujah! Praise be to God! Simpleng-simple lang yan. Eh. Tinanggal mo yung buhay. Ba't ka nasasabing tinanggal mo ang buhay? Romans 8.6 is clear. To be controlled by the Holy Spirit. To be controlled by the human nature results in death. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Discardihan mo yung buhay mo on your own. Results in death. No, God will not be angry with you. No, you will not be punished. But you will be on your own. Hallelujah. Ano ibinubunga ng buhay mo pagka you are on your own? Edi, ang daming wow, ang daming resentments, ang daming irritations, ang daming hallelujah, samaan ng loob. Simpleng simple lang. Because God was not in control. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, after when Jesus gave His life, so that we can receive the Holy Spirit. What happened next? <laughs> he made a promise to the apostles. When he was resurrected, Ascension Sunday, last Sunday, when he resurrected, Hallelujah, he made a promise to the apostles. Wait for me. Count 50 days. I will come back. And what is that? Pentecost. The day that we're celebrating now. Hallelujah. Pentecost. <laughs> Praise be to God. When Pentecost came, what happened to the apostles? Conversions, di ba? Hallelujah. The apostles was a ragtag team. Hallelujah. Pano yung mga walang sinabi. Walang Walang bahid ng kabanalan ka makikita. <laughs> Hallelujah. But when they received the Holy Spirit on that Pentecost Sunday, Pentecost Day, no, mind you, Pentecost Sunday is the birthday of the church. The Catholic Church was established on that Pentecost Day. Then Peter, as the head, as the first 
Bishop first Paul. Hallelujah. Peter. No? Si Peter na palpak. Naglakad sa tubig, lubog. <laughs> Si Peter, nasabi niya, sabi niya kay Lord, nung, uh, nung sinabi ni Lord, ipapako ako sa krus. <laughs> nasabi ni Peter, no, Lord, over my dead body. And then uh, Jesus tells him, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You know, uh, bakit? Ano nangyari? Bakit nung nag- after Pentecost, eh, naging bold na sila. nag preach na sila, wala na silang takot. Pinoproclaim na nila yung gospel ni Lord. Bakit? Bakit wala na sila? Bakit? Uh, ang lalakas na nung loob nila, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit started to be activated, manifesting in the 12 apostles. No? Nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Meron ka niyan, meron ako niyan. Kung binyagan ka, meron ako niyan, meron ikaw niyan. Nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, praise be to God, miracles, discernment, interpretation, prophecy, and tongues. Nine gifts. I cannot discuss each of them, each one of them now, but hallelujah. This nine gifts is the power that Jesus was exercising during his earthly ministry for three years. Ano niya? Kaya uh, ulitin ko, meron ka nito, meron ako nito eh. The apostles, kaya nagkaroon ng pagkakaiba, ng, ng boldness because uh, ulitin ko, the nine gifts are the power of Jesus manifesting now in the apostles. No. Uh, in John chapter uh, 20, um, Uh, what was that? <laughs> I forgot already. But in John chapter 20 uh, forward, uh, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, even greater things than I have done, you can do. He said that to Peter. <laughs> siguro, siguro takang-taka si Peter. Ano ba? Niloloko mo ba ako? <laughs> ano? Bakit niya? Bakit, sa, bakit niya iisipin yun? Bakit takang-taka si Peter? Eh, Diyos ko, naglakad nga siya sa tubig, lubog eh. Tinawag nga siyang satanas eh. Tapos ngayon, hallelujah, tinawag pa siyang Peter. Eh, dati, di ba, Simon? Tapos ginawang Peter. Eh, Peter means... Peter ka na ngayon, ha? habi siguro ni Peter, ni Simon, niloloko ba ako nito? Tapos lalo na, nung sinabi ni Lord sa kanya, you know Peter, greater things than I have done, you can do. Higit pa sa nagagawa ko, magagawa mo. Nagkatotoo ba yon? Opo. Mas maraming patay na binuhay si Peter. Pero ano, mas magaling nga ba si Peter? Hindi po. Eh ano nangyari kay Peter? Si Kristo ay nake, nake Peter. Si Kristo, ang kanyang kapangyarihan, ang kanyang kabanalan, nake Pedro, gumagalaw. Hallelujah. Mark his words. Let us mark the words of God. Even greater things than I have done, you can do. Siguro ang ibig lang niya sabihin, greater things than you think I can do. Mas higit pa dyan magagawa mo. Kung pakikilusin mo si Kristo sa'yo. Ulitin ko. Ulitin ko. Ang sinasabi lang po ni Kristo eh, yung alam mo na kaya kong gawin, higit pa dun magagawa mo. How will that happen? Pakilusin mo si Kristo sa buhay mo. So let us not dwell so much on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, ministry, uh, uh, miracle, discernment, interpretation, prophecy, and tongues. Bakit, bakit ko po minasabing huwag tayo mag-dwell on that? Eh kasi hindi naman yan magpapadala sa atin sa langit. Sabi nga ni Lord, there will be a time that oh, not all those who call me Lord, Lord shall enter my kingdom. Sabi Sabi ng isang mama, sabi ng isang mama, Lord, did I not cast out demons in your name? Sabi naman ni Lord, I do not know you. 
Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 10, verse 20, He said, Do not rejoice that you cast out demons in my name. Rejoice that your names will be written in heaven. Simply put, St. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. If you desire for the gifts, make sure that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is your goal. And what is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Nine fruit. There are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. There are nine fruit of the Holy Spirit found in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. What are these nine gifts? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, humility, self-control. Hallelujah. If you will notice in that passage, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, wala siyang S, hindi siya plural. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Siyam, pero hindi plural. Bakit? Bakit walang S? Because it is one character of Jesus. If you're enjoying the Holy Spirit, then you must be enjoying that character. Uulitin ko, and this is where I want to end. This is what the Gospel is talking about. To imitate Christ, to become like Christ. Anak ng Diyos. Pag ano, pag gumagana yung nine fruit. Huwag mong sukatin pag gumagana yung healing, gumagana yung miracles, gumagana yung wisdom, gumagana yung prayer leader, gumagana yan. Huwag mong sukatin. Sabi nga ni Lord, not all those who call me Lord, Lord. Saan mo susukatin? Hallelujah. Sabi ni Lord, those who obey me, I and my Father will dwell in them. Intimacy will manifest. Intimacy will happen when you put the gospel into your life. Holiness will manifest in your life. Ulitin ko, what are these nine fruit of the Holy Spirit that is the best gift that we can ever have in life? Nine fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, humility, self-control. Hallelujah. God bless po. The Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Happy Pentecost, everybody.
Sinasamba Minamahal kita We praise you Lord Hallelujah Oh Hallelujah The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 20 verses 19 to 23. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the door locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hand and sign. The disciples were overjoyed. When they, were, they saw the Lord, again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As a father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Diyos Espiritu Santo. Amen and Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Maraming pong salamat, Brother Jing, sa napakagandang panayam na kung paano po uh, I would say that is the, the practicality of uh, uh, paano po yung manifestation sa atin ng, ng balaang espiritu, ng banal espiritu, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Brother George, uh, for that uh, speaking tongues. Thank you, Brother George, for that, that come Holy Spirit. Really, it's, it's a prompt of the Holy Spirit calling you. Uh, for just only two days uh, preparation. So with the Ruby family. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, um, have, you, have, you, have you remember uh, that we have experienced the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in ourselves? Ako po, eh, tanda-tanda ko po, nung kung kami po ay nag-join ng uh, Life in the Spirit seminar ni Sister Emma sa Love Plug po. Uh, that was uh, December of eight, December 18, 19, uh, 20 of 1986. Uh, Magtatatlumpot uh, limang taon na po ngayon. At that age, uh, ang edad po namin nun ay 26. Kaya nga po, eh, ngayon po, 61 na po kami. So, medyo po, ano, um, more than half of our life is already here. But uh, tama, tama, po yung, tama po yung sinabi ni Brother Jing doon po sa kanyang panayam na Yung pong, yung pong banal na espiritu ay pag nag-manifest po sa atin, kailangan din po ng ating pagsunod. Kailangan po ng ating, ng ating pong obedient. Kailangan po isabuhay talaga yung salita ng Diyos. Uh, through the Holy Spirit, eh, yan po yung, yung po yung magbibigay po sa atin. Kaya nga po, si Jesus, ang ating po Panginoong Jesus, alam po niya na ang mga disipulo po ay kailangan po ng power ng Holy Spirit to carry out the mission entrusted to them. Eh, yun nga po, kaya nga po ay manifestation po ng uh, nine gifts, the wisdom, the knowledge, the faith, healing, 
uh, miraculous power, prophecy, distinguish between the spirit, no? Uh, speaking tongues, uh, uh, speaking of the speaking tongues. Uh, ito masarap po. Alam niyo po ba, eh, nung pong siguro mga ilang buwan na na ako ay renewed, uh, natapos ang aming renewal, almost one year. Eh, pagdating po sa tongues, eh, sa totoo lang po, pag nagpe-prayer meeting at mag-speaking tongues, eh, hindi ko po sinusunod. Kaya nga doon po na ano yung disobedient eh. Uh, bakit po? Kasi natatakot ako, uh, ordinarily, as a person, tatakot po ako na uh, kasi pag nagtangsa ko, yung aking panga ay parang magkaklag. No? Tapos parang nanginginig yung aking laman, parang inoopera. And then, there, there was a speaker, a foreign, foreigner, foreign speaker, na naging guest po natin sa Love Lock, no? explaining the beauty of speaking tongues. No, yung pong, yung pong sinasabi po na ang speaking tongues po ay gate pintuan ng mga lahat ng gifts ng ating Panginoon. So I was challenged kasi nandoon ako noon if I may if I may remember nandoon ako sa isang poste sa Lablak po noon uh, parang nagtatago ako no nung, nung, nung sinabi po na itataas na po ang kamay at uh, kinanta na po yung Come Holy Spirit I need you doon na po at uh, uh, Pinagkaloob, po ang, pinagkaloob ko po ang buo kong katawan sa ating Panginoon. Lord, sabi ko, I want to experience your Holy Spirit. I want to speak in tongues, Lord God. And uh, sabi, nung, sabi nung prayer leader, nung, nung foreign prayer leader na yon, sabi niya, open your mouth, open your mouth, and then yung tongues natin, apagalawin natin, and then yan, nag-start na ako ng la 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 La, la, la. Hanggang sa bumilis po, bumilis ang bumilis, hindi ko na po napigilan. At ngayon po, binigyan ako ng speaking tongues ng ating Panginoon. Hayara karamarasya karamarahan na marakira. Hayara karamarasya karamarahan na marakira. Ano po yon? Hanggang ngayon po, hindi ko po naintindihan. Pero ang naintindihan ko po, ang, ang love and joy ng, ng ating Panginoon ay nasa atin. So wow! From, from there, Tama po yun. Uh, nagsimula na po na maintindihan ko po ang banal na kasulatan. Yun yung sinasabing, na yun sinasabing wisdom galing po sa Panginoon na mauunawaan mo ngayon ang salita ng Diyos. Eh, nung araw po kasi, nung bago ko po makilala ang ating Panginoon, eh, Diyos ko po, ni isang hibla ng salita ng, pang, ng, 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 salita ng Diyos, wala po akong alam. Alam ko po sa John 3.16, nilalagay lang po natatak sa t-shirt pang 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 ano pang beauty palabas I, I don't know I I know nothing in the scripture brothers and sisters sa totoo lang kaya ano ang ano ko po na nagkaroon ako ng ng uh, pagnanasa na umattend lagi ng prayer meeting prayer meeting prayer meeting and then pag pag meron ng speaker ang ginagawa ko po may nangalala ko po yung yung uh, what do Uh, index card, no? Doon ko po ni sinusulat yung bawat speaker at iniipon ko po yun. At yun po nire-review ko pagdating sa bahay. And then, then the Holy Spirit prompt me to to really read the scripture. And then, ang isa pong challenge po na binigyan sa akin ng ating Panginoon, yung pong isa buhay po yung salita ng Diyos. Tama nga po yun, no? Uh, marami po sa atin naghahangad ng, ng nine gifts, ng gifts of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the knowledge, the faith, the healing, No, the, the miraculous power, the prophecy, no, distinguishing the between the spirit, speaking tongues, interpretation of tongues, marami po sa atin naghahangad ng ganun, honestly. Pero nakita ko po, sa buhay po, sa abanan na espiritu, ang nakita ko ngayon, yung pong nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, yung topic po ni Brother Jing. The love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, The goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness, the self-control. Yun po yung para po para po magmanifest sa atin yung power, yung nine gifts, isa buhay po natin yung fruits of the Holy Spirit. Yung love, yung 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 pag-ibig na yung mga taong hindi mo ma, ma, kayang mahalin, na mamahal mo na ngayon. Hindi ka na ngayon namimili. Eh yun po yung tulong na banal na espiritu po sa atin. Na dati malungkutin ka, dati matamlay ka, ngayon masayahin ka na. Bakit po? Because that is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Dati wala kang kapase, pasensya. No? Ay, alam niyo po, ang, 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 ang mahirap po kasi pag wala kang patience, grabe. Sometimes and most of the time, magbubumirang pa sa'yo pag nawala ka na pasensya. Kindness, uh, ay, yung kabaitan po, yung goodness, yung faithfulness, gentleness and self-control with your brothers and sisters. 
Yun yung, yun yung isang, isang sa akin challenge po. Yung fruits of the Holy Spirit na yung topic ni Brother Jing po na yun na, na paano magbabago ang aking sarili? Paano ako susunod talaga kay Kristo? Paano ako magiging Kristo sa buhay na ito? Sa aking pamilya, sa aking mga anak, sa aking asawa, sa aking kapwa, sa aking silingan, sa aking kapitbahay, sa aking brothers and sisters. Minsan po kasi masarap lang po tayo pag nasa loob tayo ng ating community. Na mabait tayo, uh, malabable tayo, kind, kind tayo, joyful tayo. Pero pagdating na po sa ating bahay, pagdating na po sa, pagdating na po sa, sa, sa opisina, minsan para sinasabi natin eh, Uh, Lord, Lord, ha, papasok sa opisina Maraming mal dito rito, maraming mal dito rito Lord, dyan ka lang uh, Paglabas ko uli, sama uli tayo Kasi magmamal dito muna ako Kasi mag-aano mag, muna ako Papatulang ko muna ito mga to. And what is self-control? What is kindness? What is patience? What is love, joy, and peace? Na gusto natin mag-attain Through the Holy Spirit Yun, yun yung mga, yun po yung napaka, naka ano eh, yung bag, uh, what to call this, yung sa buhay po natin na paano natin talaga maisa sa buhay ang pagiging Jesus. Marami, marami. No? Minsan, mapapansin ko po sa Facebook, no? magwawala. No? Marami siyang, marami siyang, marami siyang i-write up zone, ipopost niya, ganito, ganito, ganito. Sometimes, napapa, ganun na lang po ako ng kamay at pinagdadasan. At minsan, merong urge of the Holy Spirit to find words, an exact word, the word of God, to send it to Him, to Him or to Him. Para at least mais naman, para naman po lumambot naman, para naman po kumalma naman. Kasi, ano po ba yung ano natin? Hindi po ba ito po yung, ito po yung inaano natin na banal na Espiritu para po sa atin? The anointing of the Holy Spirit to live a new way of life, a life of love, a life of Peace and joy and righteousness. Romans 14 verse 17. Yun yung hindi, hindi po importante yung kinakain po natin. Ang importante po yung paano natin isinasabuhay ang pag-ibig, ang kapayapaan at kagalakan, ang righteousness ng ating Panginoon. Yun yung sinatawag po natin sa ating pong program sa Love Flock. A new life with Jesus. Yung bagong buhay na po sa ating Panginoon. Na ikaw ngayon, sumusunod tayo sa ating Panginoon. Ang pattern natin, si Jesus. ang ating Panginoon. The Spirit help us in our weakness, my dear brothers and sisters. Romans 8:26 and enable us to grow spiritual freedom. Yung, yung freedom po natin sa doubt, yung freedom po natin sa fear, yung freedom po natin sa slavery to, to unruly desire. Di po ba, may, misa, meron po tayong mga, meron po tayong mga gusto, hindi naman tapa, tama sa atin, pero gusto natin. Kasi gusto natin eh. No? E, 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 yung po yung misang mihira sa atin eh. eh kasi gusto ko yan eh Eh kasi ito yan eh Amen Dear brothers and sisters Yung anointing ng Holy Spirit sa atin Is the source and the giver of all holiness Binanggit po ni Brother Jing Yung holiness of the holiness Oh wow Praise God brothers and sisters In Isaiah 11 verse 2 Isaiah foretold the seven folds of gifts of the Holy Spirit would give wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. So, ito yung seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. No? Yung, yung po bang meron tayong katsagaan, meron tayong ang takot po natin sa ating Panginoon. Ano po ang takot? Takot na gumawa ng mali. Takot na hindi masyahan ang Diyos. Na hindi natin mapapurihan ang Diyos. Yun po sana ang magandang takot sa atin. Na pag magsasalita po tayo, matatakot tayo, pag magbitaw tayo ng salita na masakit, na alam natin masasaktan ang Diyos sa sinasabi natin. Pag gumawa tayo ng mali, na tayo ang mag earn sa mali, sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni, ano, ni Mother Teresa, pag hindi natin natagpuan ng Panginoon, hindi ang Panginoon na may kasalanan, kasalanan natin. Tayo, ang may mali. Kung paano po yun. And so brothers and sisters, for 35 years, doon ko po na naanuhan ang, ang manifestation ng banal na Espiritu, ang manifestation po ng salita ng ating Panginoon sa buhay ng isang tao. Hindi po pala hihinto, no? kasi when we stop, that will be our end. When we stop to learn, that will be our end, brothers and sisters. Kaya nga po, ito pong buhay po natin ito, 35 years, 36 years, wala pong sinusukat 
kung gaano tayo katagal sa ating Panginoon at sinusukat po yung pagbabago natin sa ating buhay. At pag nagbago po ang ating buhay, kapatid, sino po ba makikinabang? Ang Diyos? Ang makikinabang po, ako at ikaw. Tayo po ang makikinabang. Ang makikinabang po ang pamilya po natin. Ang makikinabang po ang mga anak po natin. Ang makikinabang po ang mga apo po natin at kaapu-apuhan po natin because of our renewal. Because of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit sa ating pong buhay. A challenge for each and every one of us, brothers and sisters. Continue. Huwag po tayong ihinto. Pag huminto po tayo, tayo po ang sasaktan. Pag huminto po tayo, tayo po ang mawawalan. Pag nagpatuloy po tayo, patuloy po ang biyaya ng Panginoon sa ating pagbabago. At kailanman hindi tayo iiwanan ng ating Panginoon. And so brothers and sisters, let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, offer each one of us gift uh, of power of His Holy Spirit. Lord, You want us to make us our faith strong, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give us hope that endure and the love that never grow cold, Lord God. Lord, never refuse to give us your spirit, no? especially to those who ask with expectant faith. All these things, Father, we ask, we pray in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, again, thank you po, Brother Jing. Um, napakaganda pong panayam na sa about the Holy Spirit. Paano po nagmamanifest sa ating buhay? The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Thank you po, uh, uh, Sister Malaya. Brother George, salamat po. Intercession is the highest expression of love. It is the loving in the Spirit. Applying a spiritual power pag nagpe-pray over po tayo to other person. And it will overpower. So let us pray the Oratio Imperata bago po natin i-lift up ang ating mga kapatid sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, ng Diyos, Espiritu Santo. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our needs to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed so many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hands dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our effort to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they minister to sick to the sick with competence and compassion, strength in their commitment protection from their disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition, our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, 
pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Trop, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, makita po natin sa ating screen ngayon po ngayon yung ating po mga kapatid na nangangailangan po ng panalangin no? sa pagtaas po ng ating kamay. Uh, ipag-pray po natin si Alex Yage, Jemaline, Bernadette Netske, uh, Gladys Cabangon, Lilibet Tabausares, Marinel Lagmay, Erika Lagmay, Giovanni Perez, Ruben Mansano, Konstantin Rimanduala, Duelas, uh, Gina Miel Dungo, Perly Arevalo, Marita Ruiz, Antonio Linaw, uh, Annelin Maina, um, Luis Aquino, R.G. Velasquez, uh, aking classmate po, si uh, Brother Onofre Jun Bunag, Ruben Mansano, Dr. Rusto Dangilan, Marinel Lagmay, uh, Ronardo Liano, Wayne McFarland, And let's pray for them. Let's pray the healing prayer. Heavenly Father, we call on you right now in a special way. It is through your power that we were created. Every breath, breath we take, every morning we wake up, and every moment of every hour we live under your power. Father God, we ask you now to touch us with the same power. For if you created us from nothing, you can create, certainly create us. Fill us with the healing power of your Spirit. Cast out any, anything that should not be in us. Repair what is broken. Root out any unproductive cells. Open any blocks, arteries, or veins. Reveal any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. Let the warmth of your healing love pass through our body to make new any unhealthy areas so that our body will function the way you created us to function. And Father, restore us to full health in mind and spirit so that we may serve you the rest of our life. Lord God, we lift up also to you ang ating po mga kapatid na nakalista po ngayon para po sa kanilang special intention na um, brothers and sisters, uh, family relationship, financial healing. We ask this Lord God, i-bless mo po sila lahat ang kanilang po mga pangangailangan sa kanilang pamilya, sa relationship, Lord God, sa healing, oh Lord God, i-bless mo po sila lahat ng Panginoon. Ligtas mo po ang mga na-COVID, oh Lord God, uh, yung po mga tao po na nangangailangan, mga walang hanap buhay, oh Lord God, i-bless mo po sila. Lord, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, with the intercession of Mother, Ma Mother Mary. Amen and Amen. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen and Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, lahat po ng ating episode po, simula po nung umpisa, ay naka-upload po at i-upload po natin ito sa ating YouTube channel. Please, watch po. Uh, Mapunta po tayo sa channel ng Be Inspired by Brother Vic. Pwede po nating panoorin ito. Pwede po tayo mag-like and share it uh, at your FB timeline. Share niyo po sa ating mga kaibigan. Uh, probably makatouch maka po sa kanilang buong buhay. Yun po yung ating Be Inspired at YouTube. That is our channel. Be Inspired by Brother Vic Cabral. The Love Flock Cebu Be Inspired would like to thank God for all our brothers and sisters who joined us tonight. We hope and we pray that we have inspired you. Again, sorry po kung may nasabi po kami. Meron po kami naging mali. Yung mga shortness po, lalo po ngayon, ang, meron po tayong late, meron pong delayed, meron pong hindi na, na kaya na-upload because the internet, eh, pasensya na po tayo. So, ang isa lang pong nanamin, we will be inspired you before we will expire. Thank you, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Vic Cabral, your host. Thank you and God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Praise God.